Hi Twin Flames, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisey and we're continuing the series on your foundations for your Twin Flame Union. Today's topic is all about compassion in your Twin Flame Union and what is compassion, how does it look in your union, and what it's not. Um, so today I'm going to be reading an excerpt, excerpt from this book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover by Jeff and Shalia. Don't know if you see it backwards, it's, it's mirrored to me in my image, but hopefully you see it right way around. <laughs> um, and I'm going to be reading their excerpt on compassion from chapter six, and then we'll be talking about what that looks like to you in your union. Why is it important to heal your twin flame union and then what it doesn't look like? So this is what they say. Having compassion for yourself and your twin flame cannot be stated enough on this journey. If you are lacking empathy and compassion on your spiritual journey to your union, you will find it difficult to attain the vibration of harmonious union because you are constantly judging, angry, and disappointed by your twin flame and in yourself. To be unconditionally accepted by your twin flame, you must have compassion for yourself and what you've gone through to get where you are today and where you are currently headed. Self-acceptance and compassion for yourself and your twin flame will fill you up with love and grace. And it's because you are loving the part of you and them that is hurting or didn't know any better or wasn't ready to choose union in a place within where you had been choosing and experiencing separation from your good and creator. Having compassion is essential to cultivating perfect union. It's perfect union with God or enlightenment. It is something you must learn along the way and you will be tested on it again and again. Compassion starts with you recognizing no one else can harm or affect you in any way. When you recognize the choices of another, no matter how bad they may be, that they cannot affect you, you can detach yourself from their choices. Even your twin flame's choices cannot affect you separate from you. They would only ever reveal your own choices. Now that you ha do not have attachment, it is safe for you to recognize how painful their upsetting choices must be or how uncomfortable it must be for them to have to hold on to their upsets. You can have compassion for them. Compassion is not about feeling sorry for another or feeling bad for them. It's about understanding that they do not have to feel bad about what they are experiencing and they can immediately make a new choice when they are ready to release the upsetting experience. Having compassion for your twin flame means loving them so much you allow them to move through whatever it is they need to go through in order to heal. It means sticking with them through whatever challenge their challenge or experience is, even if you already have the answer and they choose not to listen to you. So then they go on um, to talk about a story in their own lives. And I'll let you read that if you have this book, chapter six. And um, if you don't have the book, definitely order it. And one last thing about compassion. True compassion means you have compassion, not just for your twin flame and others, but also for yourself. Having compassion for yourself means you do not push yourself beyond where you can sustainably and in a balanced manner go. It means honoring your feelings and honoring where you are. It means loving yourself enough to say yes to choices which are loving and no to choices which are not loving. The result, this results in a strong, balanced, healthy and sustainable foundation for yourself, your heart, your mind, and your mind, which allows for a rock solid foundation to grow your perfect union upon. So that was an excerpt from that book and let's talk about it. So having compassion for yourself and your twin flame is really choosing to see that you're lovable as you are right now and that the blocks that are being revealed to you are places within your own consciousness that you haven't yet loved, right? So instead of getting angry or frustrated with yourself or your twin flame, it's safe to choose to surrender into a more loving, compassionate view of yourself, right? So here's an example. Here's a practical example for you. Let's say that your twin flame won't talk with you and let's say that you sent them a text message and they never replied to it 
and then you look at the message that you wrote and you realize oh no I was coming from a needy state I was approaching them out of my own neediness oh no right and maybe you have a tendency to beat yourself up and be impatient with yourself and angry at yourself I shouldn't have sent that I wish I didn't send that oh I wish I didn't do that thing or get maybe if I didn't get mad at them da 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 etc 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 many of you watching this video have been in that situation the proper stance is to not beat yourself up over it but to learn so if you've approached your twin flame from a needy state that's okay notice it be aware of it and make a new choice so if you're feeling needy that's not bad you're allowed to need things you're allowed to be needy af <laughs> But it depends on where you look at your source um, of your good. If you're looking towards your twin flame to give you your good, you're going to be very disappointed because they're not responsible for making you feel good. No one else is. Your source is your creator. And so this work, what your twin flame is helping you with, is to harmonize with your creator, to seek love from God, from spirit, and give that to yourself. Let God love you where you're needing it, right? You're, you're supposed to need love. You require love, just like the trees need the sun, right? You require love. So you can use the mirror exercise to give that to yourself. That's also in this book. And it's also what Jeff and Shalia teach in Twin Flame Ascension School and what I use in my Twin Flame Ascension coaching. So let's talk about what Compassion is not. Compassion is not let someone walk all over you and take advantage of you because you have empathy for them. It's okay to have empathy for someone and their choice that they're making. So as Jeff and Shalia said in their book, um, to notice when someone is making a choice that is harmful to them, even if it's your twin flame, even if you said, hey, that's, that's not okay, the example Jeff and Shalia gave in the book is um, Jeff was working with a business partner, partner and Shalia's like, "That's that guy's trying to take advantage of you. Don't do that. That's going to cause you to experience a con contrast or like a not nice experience. And Jeff had to move through that and find out for himself. So instead of getting really upset that her advice wasn't accepted, Shalia just had compassion for him and let him move through this experience, right? Meanwhile, um, she maintained her uh, autonomy and her self-respect, right? Like, you don't have to lose your identity and your own values and, and your own respect for yourself by acknowledging that someone needs to have the freedom to move through whatever it is they need to experience on their own. Another example in the book is sometimes your twin flame needs to experience the illusion of being with someone else that's not you in order to experience that lesson and that contrast that you are their perfect home, right? This doesn't mean that you accept it as part of your reality. What I mean by that is you don't have to say this, this is divine when it's not, right? But having compassion for someone where they're working through something, especially yourself, especially your twin flame is really 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 important because all the way up to enlightenment or we, we call it perfect union in the twin flames universe community all the way up to that point you're going to be having spiritual lessons that you're working through you're going to be resolving inner blocks or patterns that are harmful so one of the ones that i've moved through in my life um, is having compassion for my twin flame as they resolved a, a work upset right they he didn't like his job as a driller, but he didn't want to choose to um, work in his own way, right? Because he, he was moving through, like, really trusting himself and really claiming his divinity. And so I could see, hey, like, this job is really, you know, taking from you. It's, it's not honoring who you are as a divine channel and divine being. Like, my twin flame is a very gifted reader by the way his readings are on sale on our website so check it out get a reading with josh he's got live readings which you can do over zoom or he's got a recorded reading that he'll do and we'll send that to you in a an unlisted 
um, YouTube link. So anyway, so he's he's a very gifted spiritual man, and I saw that this job that he had was not honoring who he really was. His colleagues couldn't see who he really was, but yet he had to go through that experience, and he had to keep going through that experience so that he could learn who he really was. And so I and I always supported him in his job. I was very proud of him for persisting through this job as a driller. I was really proud of my man. Like he's a hard worker. He persisted, did not bother me at all. Right. Same thing with me, um, with things that I'm moving through. Like I had places in my consciousness where I was very resistant, very, very resistant. I didn't want to hear what people were telling me. Oh no, no. My twin flame's not mirroring me. That's not me. You know? And my um, coaches and the spiritual community, Twin Films Universe, my gurus, Jeff and Shalia, were very compassionate with me. And when I had made a mistake in the past, I would get really upset at myself, like, oh, how could I do that, right? I learned how to see my mistakes as opportunities. I learned to be compassionate with myself for making mistakes. My Twin Flame, as I started being really compassionate with myself, started to be really compassionate with me because we made the same core choice, right? When you are compassionate with yourself and loving and patient with yourself as you learn, this opens the door for more love from yourself and from others, right? Your twin flame matches your vibration always, 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 always. So it's in your best interest to not only be compassionate with yourself, but for everyone. But don't forget yourself first because that's really important. So the next video topic that I will be uh, speaking on is about um, unconditional love. So it, it really flows beautifully. That These are the topics that are lined up in Jeff and Shalia's book, Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. It flows beautifully from one topic to another. So uh, ne in the next video, I'll be talking about why unconditional love is important on your twin flame journey. It's a little different than compassion. Um, it's kind of like the next progression from that. Um, but just to note, the last thing that I wanted to say is you can be compassionate with another person, meanwhile holding your value high. I did touch on that a little bit, but something that we're moving through in the Twin Flames Universe community now is holding your value high, saying like, okay, you're making that choice over there. <laughs> the truck's flying by. <laughs> anyway, you're making that choice over there. That's not divine, but I'm not going to judge you. I'm just going to notice that it must feel uncomfortable for you to make that choice. And I'm going to stay here at the divine table and I'm going to keep inviting you here. But I don't have to get upset about the choice you're making. I don't have to let it take me out of my peace. I can still hold my value high, which means that your whole union's uh, value is held high. I have made the mistake of joining the pattern in in the the ego right like joining that pattern by a being upset about it or b thinking that i have to go down into the mud and um if you can't beat them join them kind of thing um in many instances in my union and that doesn't work because you're not honoring the divinity of of yourself or your twin flame when you see a pattern that is not divine and you choose to participate in it through either acting through it or being upset at it both of those are the two sides of the same coin. So hopefully this makes sense. If you'd like to go deeper, um, you can look in the description box. There's a link uh, to purchase the book. There's a link to get an introductory session with me. I'm still offering those. I still have some space available on my calendar for a few clients who are ready to go deeper on their journeys and really serious about healing. Um, and you can check out Twin Flame Ascension School and get all the support that you need on this journey to really heal your union. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.